And what you're going to work on mostly is getting your body upright underneath the clinch. That helps to shut down some of the... Um, so if he's grabbing my neck, just one for now. I don't want to stay in this position if I can. If I'm already down here and I need to do something, I can push the hip out, which gives me at least a little bit of room to start doing other stuff, throwing, kicking, and all that. We can do that because we don't have we don't have the issues of uh, of uh, rules and all that. But generally speaking, what I want to do is I want to, when he starts to pull, I want to drive under and get vertical with my spine, and then from there. I'm going to use the other elbow just like I do for a choke shield. Same thing. I'm going to drive it up. Now, I don't really care if he completely comes off because at this point, I have control of the space. Um, we can still be fighting for space, of course, but I'm not so worried about his control over my head. So even if he's doing two hands, I'm going to treat it kind of the same way. As soon as he pulls, He's probably going to be kneeing, so I need to be able to get control of my base and my space. Get upright as much as I can. One side, drop the other, and plow through with my elbow. And again, whether he lets go or not doesn't really matter. There's about 30 variations of that you can work. All of the solutions are basically the same. I'm not going to go through all of them because you can figure them out pretty quickly. Pretty 